years old and I am a yoga teacher. Yeah. A fun story, I was only 16 when I first took my a yoga class. I went with my mom to a gentle yoga class on the beach. And before that, before I ever did yoga, I was having to go with a chiropractor all the time, once a month at least, to get my back adjusted or I would get migraines. And around the same time, I was going through a breakup. So I just, my body was out of alignment and I felt like my spirit was out of alignment. And so yoga was what really brought me to myself. And it felt like a place where I could be accepted. It, it, was, it didn't feel like a place of judgment. And I had teachers who gave me lessons along with the practice who strengthened my body as well as my spirit, who gave me good advice like to have a light heart because light hearts are harder to break and that was the very first piece of advice I heard in a class that made it click for me that this is somewhere I need to be and this is a practice that I should keep doing for myself. It's my own yoga teacher who took me under her wing and let me progress in her class. So when she started planning on leaving Guam, she spent the last year that she was here with me and a group of friends teaching us how to teach. And we spent a couple months doing 200 hours where I would just do small dialogue in her class and then practice with her. And then on the side, I would just do little classes with my family just to see if I could do it because she was really trying to push me out of my comfort zone. And I, I didn't feel like I was ready, but she, get, she gave me that kind of confidence to go ahead and teach and now it's something that I can't stop and I feel so blessed to be able to share the gift of yoga with people. It's like such a huge responsibility to me but it makes me so happy to see people walk out of my class happier than when they came in. Every class that I teach feels like a blessing and I really walk in very grateful to have students who are there to practice with me and spend an hour out of their day to really work on themselves and treat themselves for the hour that I'm there. Like, I know I've had so many classes where nobody showed up. I've had, when I first started, there were months and months and months where I would show up at the gym and nobody would come. And it would get to me and it would make me feel like maybe I'm not gonna be a great teacher. And it made me doubt myself, but just in the last year, I've really come to come into my own skin as a teacher. And now that I have like a small following and people who come consistently, I'm so grateful. So I'm really, it just, every moment that I'm on my mat and teaching in front of people, I'm just grateful. And every day I wake up excited to just get out and do it whatever I'm capable of. Like, growing up, I was always so insecure and afraid of what will happen, but I think that the fear of not ever doing something is now overtaking the fear of what might happen.